Hello? What? No, you're fired. You're not selling enough Jens merchandise. Get real or something like that. Also, stop calling me on this thing. This is not a cell phone. Hey there. How are you doing? Today, <laughs> I will show you how to play Pluto, Proje Pluto Projector by Rex Orange County. The song was requested by all these people. Thank you all so much for your comments. We're going to show you how to play the song. I will use sometimes chord diagrams, sometimes tabs, but I hope everything will be clear. So also if it's a bit difficult at the second half of the video, I explain everything in a lot more detail. So check that out if you're having some troubles. But I want to give a huge thank you to Jose for donating to my PayPal. Also a thank you for, to Charlie for becoming a patron. And also thank you all so much for the support. Check out my Instagram, there you can sometimes vote which song I do next. Also. Check out my new merch, as I just told you about. And now let's get into the song. So the song is just in standard tuning. You don't need a capo or anything like that. So we can go directly into the song.
So as you might have guessed, that's how to play the song. <laughs> um, there are some tricky parts, the strumming pattern might be a bit tricky and some odd chords might be there. If you know how to play the song Untitled by Rex Orange County, you can almost play this song since there are a lot of similarities. Nothing wrong with that, but it might be helpful to know. First of all, the strumming pattern in the beginning is not too difficult. I will show you exactly what I'm doing very slowly. I'm playing the chords over here. So the first one, the C major, you're already playing, you do it like this. And this type of strumming you really do for all the chords in the beginning of the song. So you're really using your temp and your index finger to play two notes together. And you're switching with your temp between the two bass notes. So. You're really doing that. So that's how you play that. You play those two notes by using your index finger and your thumb. And the rest of the stuff you do with your thumb. And that's for each chord so also. And then. Nothing too weird. And then. might be a bit tricky but he does this you can do that with your when you're going to the B string you can use your middle finger for this so like that so There's some small variation on that the next time, but you can play around with that. Um, so that's really the strumming pattern of the beginning. Then at some points the piano is playing, but in those parts I'm really just playing the chords that the piano is playing. You just have to play those chords that I have showed you in the beginning of this video. So the C and stuff like that. Then the strumming pattern changes a bit. It's very close to the beginning of this, so this. But then he adds some more notes to it. It's a bit random, so I think he just randomly play does some different kind of strumming patterns, but. I, what you see in the tabs or in the chords or what you see me doing is really like the the basic thing that you can play around with so it's sort of something like this and that for each chord so you do you use your middle finger and your thumb to play the first note really then your index finger again and your thumb and your inner finger, which you're basically still doing, but then not with the E and the A string for the C chord, but with the E and the D string, and with the E minor and the F major and the G7, you use the E and the D, the A and the D string to switch with your temp. that so but you might hear that he does some variations on it so sometimes he he plucks the chord a bit more so he also uses his ring finger to play the bottom string like that but you can really play around with that since it's not that fixed as the beginning strumming pattern that you hear then the strumming pattern is fixed again you could say it's it's distinctive again it goes like this So the strumming pattern repeats itself for each chord except for the last one he plays an extra note, but it goes like this. So middle finger and thumb, index finger, thumb again, and middle finger again, so. He repeats that he repeats that basically as well for the this part over here. It's basically the same melody and same strumming pattern, but then 
in a different key, so he rises the key up, you could say. Especially on your acoustic guitar, it might be difficult to play all the way over here. You might try to then play the C minor 7 chord over here. It's an octave lower, but it still sounds nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more Rex Orange County songs, let me know, and I really hope to see you the next time.